guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a review of a very interesting brand called Midnight City. They do gold-plated stainless steel jewelry. So I'm gonna share with you guys the four necklaces that I bought. Actually, that's a lie. I bought like some necklaces, some chains, some rings, and a bracelet, but I'm gonna share with you the four necklaces in this video. Like this video if you want to see a part two, if you want to see more of their rings and their chains. These were bought from the women's range, even though I feel like some of them are unisex. So on YouTube, you see a lot of reviews from companies like Misoma and Majuri. They're very popular among the YouTube bloggers um, when it comes to gold jewellery and they seem fine. However, I feel like gold vermeil in general is very overpriced. I've bought gold vermeil jewellery from different brands, whether it was high end or whether it was low end, they all tarnish and they all deteriorate over time. And so because jewellery is an investment, um, you want to make sure that you're buying jewellery that stands the test of time. I'm someone who is very carefree, so when I wear my gold jewellery, I'm wearing it to the beach, I'm wearing it you know, in the shower, I'm washing my hands whilst I'm wearing my gold rings. So I wanted something that fitted my lifestyle and I didn't have to be scared about if I wanted to like do some kind of activity. I didn't want to worry that, oh no, I'm sweating, my jewelry's gonna tarnish or anything like that. So that kind of is the reason why I started looking for kind of stainless steel jewelry. Now I discovered Midnight City on Instagram. Um, as you know, with Instagram, if you're interested in a particular topic, like, I'm interested in fashion and, and jewellery and stuff, they will advertise things to you. And Midnight City is a UK based company, so they were essentially an ad that popped out and said, you know, something about, are you looking for tarnish free gold jewellery? So I went on the Instagram page and honestly, I wasn't that impressed with their branding. Their branding is very masculine, um, it has that kind of, I'm trying to be cool, edgy vibe that just didn't sit with with what I'm looking for, but I was just interested in the jewellery itself. I would say that this is a man, a man's jewellery company that offers um, women's jewellery. There are companies that their key demographic is either particular one gender or maybe all genders, but I would say that Midnight City is definitely a, a man's brand. It, it, their first audience is, is a man, but they have really nice women pieces as well. I don't know about you, but sometimes I'm skeptical of Instagram brands. I'm very skeptical if it's only on Instagram and I don't see it anywhere else. I don't see it on YouTube or I don't really see it on Google search or I see it on Trustpilot and the reviews aren't great. I get really nervous. Um, and I think if that is the case, whenever you make a purchase from these from these kind of brands that are kind of Instagram, I think you should pay either through PayPal or by credit card because, because then your money is kind of protected and if it comes to a point where either you don't get your parcel or your parcel isn't as described or any kind of problems with refunds and stuff like that, at least you know that you can call your credit card company or you can dispute it through PayPal. So I would highly recommend that whenever you're making purchases from companies that you are a little bit unsure of that you use a credit card just because it has more protection. So I was really impressed by the overall quality of this jewellery brand. I was kind of scared that I would just get something that was like cheaply manufactured from China and with their gold sticker on it and that would be it but I'm going to show you a close-up of each individual pendant, what they look like on and also what they look like up close. So this is the Minimal Tag Necklace in Gold. It comes in a solid um, rectangle style shape. I love how basic and classy this looks. Um, in fact, all of the styles I bought are relatively simple. I just think it looks classic and really chic. Um, on the back of the pendant, you will see the MC logo marked behind. So moving on, we have the minimal circle necklace. I had to buy something that was essentially a coin looking type necklace. I didn't want anything that had, again, too much detail. I think this is very suited for everyday wear and I think it's probably going to be the necklace I wear the most out of this collection. I've worn it with almost every kind of jumper or shirt 
blouse and it always looks amazing i've worn it with um high neck jumpers um and it still stands out so i think for me this is probably one of the best purchases out of the collection so moving on we have the minimal bar necklace again in gold i really like this one for kind of those outfits that are very low cut it looks very chic um it stands out and i guess it looks really elegant i like that this piece is very different to anything i have in my collection so far i like that it is a long bar it's vertical um and i think this is definitely suited for some kind of like evening evening wear like a long dress a long deep v dress i've worn it on the shortest hook but you can use the first hook um if you want it to be longer so the last one i'm sharing is the star necklace in gold um all of these pieces i didn't think i mentioned it before but all of these pieces are 18 carat plated stainless steel this one i bought because i thought it was a little bit more fun um it's definitely something that is a little bit more playful something i would wear maybe if i was going to see a friend or i was going to brunch um something that i'll probably be wearing a lot in the summer um but i wouldn't say that this is something i would wear every day i'm not a hundred percent sold on the rhinestone that's in the middle but i just thought that it was a playful look so overall i'm really impressed with the quality of this jewelry when they arrived they arrived um well packaged it was clean they each had their own individual pouches i also love the fact that they stamp their logo on the back of each pendant it just feels more kind of certified that there's some kind of quality control going on you don't want to be buying jewelry that feels very ebay-ish i guess in the sense where they're just kind of putting their brand on some kind something that is cheap but this feels like okay they had some, they have some kind of quality control system going on there are quite good quality gold plated stainless steel jewelries on ebay but um i don't know I, i'm kind of here and there with some stuff on ebay and i wanted to get something that had already been tried and tested to some degree or had been sorted out i was also very fortunate because i bought all of these um necklaces on sale they were doing a three for two sale at one point um or maybe it was a 70% off but they do deals like maybe every weekend they do a lot of deals um so I just like bought a lot of stuff um just to test out and see overall I really really love how it looks on me so a few things to note with Midnight City jewellery is that the clasp usually I'm used to necklaces with the clasp on the right side their clasp is actually on the left side and because the pendant um hook is so small i can't like take this out of the chain and then kind of change it around it it just sits the way it is so i have to stay i guess i have to leave the the clasp on the left side which is just it's a small thing but it's kind of awkward especially when you're getting changed and you know you're just you're getting dressed and you're just like oh i have to use my left hand which isn't as you know flexible as i don't know my right hand so it's just like small things that i just think that they should kind of think about changing so i'm moving on to their customer service because customer service is very important when you're buying from a brand that doesn't have a brick and mortar store doesn't have a shop that you can go into and it doesn't have that much of an online presence really their main marketing strategy is instagram um and so i would rate their customer service to be a three out of five maybe a six out of ten i don't know i guess that's the same thing the reason being is because i made three different orders two of them were actually duplicates and when i went to contact them i got a message saying first of all they took a while to get back get back in contact with me and then they said that they couldn't cancel the order because the order had already been packaged or been shipped and i wrote back to them and i said what do you mean like it's already been shipped like shouldn't it be like cancelled like it should be an easy matter of just cancelling the order but i think how they do it is once you've made an order maybe they the message is sent to their manufacturing company and i think the manufacturing company is separate from maybe the admin team or the operations team i don't know how that works but 
if you place an order and you change your mind, that order is gonna come through anyway, and it's just a matter of you having to return it, which is kind of annoying because you have to pay postage, but they do have a really good online return system. It's um, very well made. It's like this form that you fill in. Um, but I, I just felt like the person who I spoke to was giving me very short answers and wasn't really going, wasn't making me feel safe, I guess. Um, and I think that if you email them, just make sure you're very thorough with your questions and that they answer all of them. And if they don't, just reply and respond back. I also messaged um, them via Instagram. Basically what happened is there was a custom necklace that I wanted to buy. Um, they have a lot of custom custom name necklaces and there was one I wanted to buy but on the web page their custom box wasn't working so I couldn't type in my name to order the necklace that I wanted to order so I messaged on Instagram again they got back to me later on the answer was very short and was like you know we'll look into it blah 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 I then saw like maybe a week or two weeks later they had updated or updated their page um, but they had bumped up the price of the custom necklace so I didn't end up buying it I just kind of left it but I think that's the one thing that that is lacking with them is that you need to be very your customer service needs to be amazing if you are gonna be if you're if you don't have a big presence if you don't have influencers really talking about you if you're not pushing for people to talk about you then you really need to have like I don't know you just need to be nice to your customers and I guess I just didn't think their customer service was like that great so I honestly feel like gold plated um, stainless steel is better than gold plated sterling silver or gold vermeil um, I think you get more bang for your buck it has more longevity and I think no one's gonna know what base metal your gold is I think that if you're buying gold pieces go for gold plated stainless steel um, and solid gold any carrot solid gold because you're, then you're getting the longevity but you're also getting the freedom of being able to wear your jewelry in any occasion and not worry about it going bad or it tarnishing or turning a weird color so that's it guys thank you for watching um let me know what you think of my collection so far leave a comment if you'd like to see a part two where i talk about their chains their bracelet and their rings make sure you like this video and hit that subscribe button and i will catch you in the next one bye guys